So now that you've got your system installed, you want to start sort of pimping it out. Um, so let me show you how to install some very useful things. So um, you can see that, let me just do this a little bit more slowly. So here I'm doing nothing. Go up here and click on activities in the search bar type uh, terminal. Okay, um, so now here I get a logon and let me just zoom in a little bit. So this is a, a terminal session. Um, important terminal commands are PWD, stands for print working directi directory, tells you where you are. Um, CD is another important command, it stands for change directory. So I might want to change to documents. So I type the first three letters and then I hit the tab key and tab completion is really useful, can save you a lot of time. So this will change me to the documents directory and then if I say PWD, it tells me where I am again. If I want to see what's in the directory, I can type LS and you can see that I've been playing around and there are a couple um, C++ uh, files there. Um, so you can also do all the same stuff just using the file browser if you want. I mean, it works just like Linux or Mac or whatever. Like here's the hello.cpp. You can't see this one. It's, it's marked hidden by that tilde. So those are the basics of how to get around and navigate files. Um, by the way, if you want to go up a directory, it's dot dot. So cd dot dot takes you up one level, and now I'm back up here. Um, so the first thing you want to do is get your sudo working. So, um, sudo is a way is an easy way of running a command at uh, the root level. So sudo just basically means do this command as an administrator. So very useful. Um, if you try to do it right off the bat, you won't be able to. It'll tell you that you're not a, in, the, in the right file or something. So here's how you fix that. Um, type su for super user, and then you enter the root password. Okay, so hopefully you remember what the root password is. We made a big deal about that during installation. And so now you open this file, and so you have to use a, some text editor and uh, nano is is one you can use if you know how to use vi you can also use vi so go to etc and su doers and so now we're just looking at a text file through this text editor and i added this line right at the bottom and this is the line that you need to add to so my username is hunter so i typed that but you need to type yours so hunter all equals all space all <laughs> So that's the magical incantation that will let you do sudo commands. And now type control X and uh, it'll ask you if you want to save it and then just type Y and hit return. And then you'll be able to use uh, sudo. So one thing you should do is install all the compilers and stuff. So this is how you install software. Um, type sudo apt-get. Uh, and just for practice, let's do update. So apt is short for aptitude. This is the program that you use to load uh, software onto your computer. And you can see here that all these internet addresses, these are uh, software repositories for Debian. So unlike Windows, the way you, you load new software onto your system is by using apt-get. And the places that the software comes from are these. And so Debian comes with um, a pretty conservative selection of repositories. Um, slang, slang name is repos. And so you might want to add some more. In fact, we definitely want to add one for Dropbox because it's so convenient to have Dropbox linking your Windows side of your computer with your virtual boxes that I always, I always do it. Um, so I hope you can see this. This is what we have to do. Um, so we have to update our, our repositories to be able to load Dropbox. So that's what we're doing. Actually, this is these instructions are for the previous version of Debian called Squeeze. The one that we just downloaded is called Wheezy. So what we do is a little bit different. I'm going to cut this, uh, or copy it, and I'm going to go edit this. And I have to edit it as root. So I'm going to edit the file, etc. apt sources.list. So let's go do that. And it's going to, it's been taking a while for it to come up, but hopefully it'll show us the screen in a sec. I'm really taxing my 
display manager or something because I'm recording these videos and I also have all these other things running. Maybe if I close that, it would be better. Come on, stupid thing. So I'm closing one of my virtual machines in the hopes that this will make things run more smoothly. Sorry, this is taking a long time. I'll just put these instructions back up. Okay, so here we are. Um, so hopefully you remember the name of the directory that we were supposed to look at, right? That was your job. Um, so we'll do sudo. The, now we can use a text, a text editor called gedit, which is a little bit better than nano. And what was the name of that file again? Was it etc. apt uh, sources list? Yes. And so I'll hit return here. It'll ask, oh, so it already, it still has the, the root password loaded for sudo. So um, now I need to add that new repository, right? So I'm pasting it. And if you're not able to paste between your desktop and your virtual box, that's because um, in the settings, you did not click this um, that says that your shared clipboard is bi-directional. So that is what allowed me to do that. Now I'm going to change this to say Wheezy and Control S for save. Um, okay, so now I have this in the sources list, uh, the repos. I'm going to close it. And uh, what is this? What is all that crap? Uh, well, I've been getting all these. Okay, who cares? That's just debug stuff from gedit. So now let's update uh, sudo apt get update. Okay, so now it's it's recognizing that we have new repos, and let's do sudo apt uh, get upgrade. Okay, doesn't do anything. Now we have to do something with this PGP key, or sorry, this is it GPG? I don't know. But um, so this is just doing some some crypto stuff. So I'm going to copy this and go back to Debian as soon as it'll be nice enough to load this on the screen again. Uh, sorry, it doesn't do this when you're not recording video, but seems to be a bit of a pain. Um, come on and show me this thing again. Okay, here we go. And so I will paste, right? And is there anything I need to change? I don't think so. So let's try that. All right, excellent. So now that with the whole purpose of including that repository was to be able to load a Dropbox on our machine, if you changed your desktop from GNOME 3 to Mate or Cinnamon or something, you're going to do something slightly different. Um, I don't know why I typed that, apt-get install. Uh, now what we're using is the window manager called Nautilus. Um, and we want to do nautilus.dropbox. Okay. And it says there are some problems. Um, Nautilus Dropbox depends on Dropbox, but it's not going to be in installed. And yeah. So what's wrong? I think we did every. Maybe we need to do update one more time. Let's try that. Now. Hopefully that'll solve the problem. Now, oh, oh, so by the way, what I'm doing to, to get these past commands is typing the up and down arrow keys. So now let's try this again. And it says can't do it. Um, let's try sudo apt-get upgrade again. OK, it doesn't work. Still doesn't work. You have held broken packages. So what if we do sudo apt get install Dropbox. Okay, fine. There it goes. It's working. And, okay, so depending on how long this takes, you might want to fast forward in the video. I'm just going to hang tight here and sit through it. It says, now you can start Dropbox from your applications menu. 
So go up here to, um, and now type Dropbox, and there it is. And if you click it, you can go through the, the whole installation rigmarole. I don't know if this is the best time to do this. I'm not going to go through it right now, but you go through it in your own sweet time. I'm going to hit cancel. Wow, it's really kind of misbehaving, huh? Anyway, Dropbox is really useful. It's like they never planned on anybody saying cancel. So I said, okay. Um, all right, so another thing is we need, did we already do sudo apt-get build essential? And what is my password? So that's great, and install it, and next, skip the tour, okay, thank you. Um, now it's going to download all my files from Dropbox, which is going to take a, a coon's age for me. Um, we need to install the compilers and stuff, so to apt-get uh, build essential, um, sorry, I forgot to say install, sudo apt-get install build essential. All right, so I already have them, but for you, you might get a lot of output and stuff. Um, another thing we need is mono develop. sudo apt get install uh, mono develop. And so this is loading all the C sharp stuff onto our machine. And uh, so after this is done, I'm going to stop the video because we've done several things and after this, we're going to start loading all the stuff that you need to um, run a database. And also, I guess in the next video, we can practice compiling some C-sharp code. But I'm just going to stop the video now, since we're just watching that happen.